Okay, so what am I using this lock for? After receiving it, I was thinking, man, I should buy another one just to have in my room to play with. But they're too expensive. So I'm going to use this lock on a chain. And this is the largest chain you can buy. It is a 19 millimeter. It's an Almax immobilizer. I did a lot of research on a chain and uh, living in the States, the biggest everyone was saying uh, was a 16 millimeter. And they're pretty big. 16 millimeters are a big chain. Um, there's a lot of people use 14 millimeters. I've seen like 10 millimeters. I would never use something that small. But this is a 19 millimeter. It's freaking huge. You uh, you really have to get it in person to to see how big this thing is. The links are huge. So this they have a couple different versions. Um, the longer links or shorter links. I wanted the longer links. And that way. I can just lock it up like this. I'll show you. That way I can lock it. Lock it like such. Okay, so you can't even get um, 42 inch bulk cutters to go around this, it's so thick. So, in fact, I'll get another chain. This is the chain I did have and the master lock that I was using, which is a pretty big setup. But in comparison to the other, here I'll tell you what, I'll take it off and show you. Okay, I got the chain off. This is a big chain I got from a local hardware store. It's the biggest they have. And that's what I've been using. Thought it was pretty sufficient until I watched uh, the videos of how easy it is to bolt cut chain. Um, and so this was the lock, the master lock that I was using. And everyone and their brother can pick a master lock, as you could tell on YouTube. So uh, that's what I was using. So let's see the size difference now. you can tell it's a large difference and the reason I'm doing this is because when I looked for a chain on online and I found this Almax there was no hardly any videos on it so I wanted to really show from some different angles and show the difference to show you what how big and thick this thing is. Another reason I went with Almax chain is I did a lot of reading about tempering and there's some others out there where they they uh, core harden and they harden and harden and harden and harden and then if you strike it with a big enough sledgehammer I mean it's so brittle by that point sure it's super hard but it's super brittle and I, I didn't want that I wanted something a little softer so the Almax says that it's uh, um, case hardened. So the outside is hardened, but yet the innards, it's um, 
it's not as brittle. That's another reason I went with the Almax chain. Um, I was reluctant to buy at first because it's from the UK and I didn't uh, I didn't didn't do a lot of shopping outside the United States, but there was not a big enough chain available in the United States. So to get the 19 millimeter, you have to go outside of the states. And I looked at a couple different places, and um, Almax uh, had superior customer service. No, I don't work for them. They just have great customer service. I contacted them. They contacted me back right away. I did it through email. I'm sure they're great on the phone too. Um, they contacted me back and said they had you know the different sizes available and to let them know what I was thinking. And so then I had to convert. I was like, well, what the hell's two meters? So I went and, got and figured out two meters about eight foot. I was like, that'll be perfect. And then I had to convert uh, pounds into US dollars and that was a pleasant surprise because it was actually a lot cheaper than I thought don't get me wrong it's a chain that you're gonna pay pay for it was more expensive than this puppy for sure but um, if you have a motorcycle or something you're trying to uh, keep from the thieves this is the one you rest at night and don't worry about this one you'll always have doubts so figure out the price difference. Is it worth it to you? Can you afford it? Figure out your budget and see where that stands. And don't just put the chain around just the wheels. You have to have either the chain going through um, a frame piece. I mean, if you just put it through the wheel, they're going to... Um, they could disassemble the wheel. So I have um, more than just one setup that I use... Uh, I don't do it here in this garage, but when I take it to this apartment complex, I chain these puppies through here, and uh, and then I'll do it through the forks, and then uh, I also have some Xena disc alarms, but that's how I keep my motorcycles protected. Well, thanks for checking out my setup. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. put a lot of uh, reading and research into this uh, to make sure that I have the safest possible environment for my motorcycles. That's the Abloy 362. Just a huge, huge, huge lock um, with a uh, ton of great qualities. Unpickable. Huge shackle. Shrouded shackle, tumbler system to where it's uh, on the top instead of the bottom, the Abloy Protect key, um, then my Almax chain, which is 19 millimeters in thickness, huge. Um, uh, core or case hardened rather, um, so just the outside is hardened rather than the whole thing, which is my preference, so that it doesn't shatter. And you have to uh, secure it to something stationary. You can't just let the chain hang on the back wheel. Your bike will still get stolen. Alright, see you later.